Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Delve. Today we will be continuing work on our nuclear throne quote unquote reimagining in quote unquote 3D. Lots of quotes there. Now, in case you missed it, in the last episode, we continued our modeling endeavors with the creation of the bandit model. We also spent quite a bit of time weighing the pros and cons of the style of wall that we should choose. And overall, I think we had a pretty good time. It was a nice learning experience. As always, if you want to see the more full version, highly recommend you guys check out the previous episode. Now, speaking of the previous episode, in the last episode, I promised that we would continue our modeling endeavors and we would work on some props and figure out the whole wall situation however i thought we've already spent two episodes on modeling and i thought you know i'm itching to finally get to the code so we're skipping an entire process and i've already imported them into game maker and they are ready to be coded in so with that said let us go over what we are going to be doing today or hopefully going to be doing today so the major plan for today is to just get the foundation ready for future use so basically if we can get the whole rotation mechanic working today we will be directly on schedule and i'm trying my best not to speak in absolutes because that it's none of it is absolute at all but assuming everything goes according to plan and nothing goes wrong, fingers crossed that nothing will go wrong, then we'll possibly look more into the finer details and start molding it into an actual playable game of some sort. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump on in and see what we can or cannot get done today. Alrighty, so as you can see, sidebar here, got all the lovely little sprites that'll hopefully work properly fingers crossed a lot again trying not to sound absolute at all also got a basic tile set ripped from the game uh, of, of the desert so as i mentioned i'm trying my best not to speak in absolutes trying not to make any promises because i would say about 99 percent of what i'm going to try and do today is all hypothetical i don't even know if any of it is going to work so this could be a complete wash and i apologize in the in advance if that ends up being the case but let's uh, get to it First things first, we're going to need a room. Let's go. Let's do 1616 grid. I did think about possibly doing random generation, but that will be a plus at the end if we can even get this thing working. So I'm going to be using, for the most part, at least right now, I'm going to be doing a static map with, you know, things built in directly into the map rather than generating them via code. So the first, let's just pop down some tiles. So the only way I really know how to do rotation, and I think it is legit the only way that you can do rotation, is to use a view angle. So my knowledge with view angles is if a view angle of zero is greater than, or wait, we're doing Q, so less than a zero. View angle zero equals a 360. That's view angle zero one uh hmm should I do one one is gonna be a slow rotation maybe we do five so let's even check that that works let's make this object uh controller that sounds good let us check it yes yes the other thing i forgot to do is change this to 60 frames Silly me, so many oversights today, ha ha! Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Pretend, pretend I'm not like a lot of game maker devs who forget about that. There we go, smooth 60 spins. Wee! Ha ha ha! Also, by the way, you can see I made a little, a few tweaks to fish. It looks a little weird right now because it's just one angle, but it's good. Our rotation works. Now you might be asking yourself, how the hell are we gonna make this a quote-unquote 3D spin? Well, good news, just stare <laughs> into the spinning fish and <laughs> all, all your questions will be answered. So I'm going to split the player's model from the actual player object. And uh, you'll see why in the future, but for now, I, I think it's going to make it much easier on me to, to do this. So we create the player skin on spawn. Now we need to make the player skin uh, follow the player object. And you know, we'll put a safeguard in. If instance exists, object player, then do this. Okay, so let's make sure our player even works properly. It should. 
Yes, okay. I can move the player. Move the camera. Okay. Everything so far is working. That is a good thing. Good thing indeed. Okay. So comes the, here comes all the hypothetical nonsense that I need to think about. Let's just see what that does. Let's tie the angle immediately to the view angle. So depending on the view angle's number should dictate, yeah, the 3D. Jesus Christ, this is disorienting. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is an acid trip. <laughs> Good lord. Whoa. <laughs> I apologize if you're getting dizzy. Okay. Um Instead, let's just make sure the 3D is working <laughs> properly and tie it to the mouse. Okay. All right, that works. Wee! Hello, hello everyone. I am Fish. Whoop. <laughs> oh, I just realized the model was imported in the wrong direction. Okay, I gotta fix that. One second. Okay, it's working now. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> so that's more like what we're dealing with here. Okay. So obviously interpolating would give it much more depth, but we're not going to be messing with interpolation this time around. I did give it some pseudo pseudo shadowing. So as you can see, there is a bit of detail difference, you know, but like I said, when I was making this model, you know, a lot of the detail is going to be lost. So it's very important that we make everything prominent. And as I mentioned, it's kind of hard to see. I might have to put in some some outlines like I did in the cat dog boat thing that I made. Might have to do some outlining just to give it more definition because he is kind of blending in with the background. But it's OK. So far, so good. I'm figuring out that you can do some psychedelic things just with some simple math. Look at this. What is even going on? Again, I apologize if this is making you dizzy, but holy moly, look at this. This is cool. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I need to stop. I'm making myself dizzy. Oh. So now the next thing we need to do is import the rock face. In case you're wondering what I decided to go with, I decided to go with the 3D model. I'm assuming or I'm hoping, you know, it'll uh it'll work out. <laughs> Let's just see how that looks. It's gonna look weird from a top down. You know what? It doesn't look too bad, Dota. Could look a lot worse. So this is where it's going to get interesting. This is where things might go downhill. I'm going to try it with a static item first. So if you guys remember the cat dog boat thingy that I did, I think if I apply the same concept as the little boat thingy that followed the main character to the view angle, hypothetically that should work. So I need to set up an X specifically for that, I think. View angle of zero. Y equals Y plus length dir Y one view angle zero. So that should have it rotate with the angle, but maintain its 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 position. Is it? Is it rotating? I can't tell. Oh, you know what? It's not rotating because I need to also tie the image angle. Image angle. Uh, how would I do? Would I just tie this to view angle zero? Would I just need to do that? Yeah. Well. Okay, so I don't know if it's uh it could be my model. Could be my model. It looks a little butt ugly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking a little butt ugly. Okay, I'm good okay, let's try to refocus. So the one thing that I did have to look up because I wasn't even sure how you would do this mathematically, it's called uh the dot product. I think. Yeah, okay. So as far as I can understand, and I, I still really don't understand it, the way that Game Maker kind of uh, explains it is it kind of works like a view cone. So you can take a, a percentage of direction and get a number from that. So the same way that it would work with using Y as your depth for like a top down view, apparently dot product would do the same. So 
I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's just see. I got it backwards. It kind of works. So you can kind of see the overlap. Just, uh, this this goddamn the rock face is an eyesore. I didn't think it would be this bad. I might need to go with like a 2D version because this is this is just. First off, I should mention these are the direct colors from the game itself. But in 3D, it just looks like I'm surrounded by mounds of poop. <laughs> it's not the most flattering of colors, of designs. It's just none of it is working for me. So the depth is not working 100% because it's, it's, it's not right here. Like this is this is overlapping this and that shouldn't be happening. This should be overlapping that. So we need to I feel like I'm not completely grasping the view angle 100 percent. At least the usage. What if I just negative negative view angle? Or did I just reverse the effect? No, because it works this way. Again, I don't 100 percent understand dot product. So <laughs> Oh, it kind of works. It kind of doesn't work. It's working there. Where does it not work? There. Okay, it doesn't work there. What angle am I at? Okay, I need to. I need to put in some like information here. I need to. I need the text to not rotate. Okay, so that should tell me the current view angle. Let's see if this also. Nope. That's not work the way that I thought it would. Will that work? I don't know if that will work. Nope. It does whatever. Okay, uh... Now I know I can just draw it to the GUI. It's not the problem. The problem is I want to try and figure out how to draw without it rotating, or with it maintaining its positioning regardless of rotation. Image angle equals view angle. Nope. Same business. What if I tweak it? <laughs> no, it's still the same thing. Okay, so there's a bit of discrepancy here. How does this work? So maybe I was wrong. It is sort of working the way that it should be working. So there's some wacky things happening with the depth. See, okay, see, it works here. Works here, from this angle, whatever the hell the angle is, I can't see because I can't, I can't draw the text properly. But if you see here, the angle is technically works properly here. You know, the depth, kind of off, still kind of off, but it works. But when I switch it here, it doesn't work. So, mathematically, something is wrong. I need to do an offset or something. Something, something is wrong <laughs> with this. Wait, is it because I have negatives? Hold on, wait. No, it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. Well, in fact, I think I made it worse. Ah, oh, okay. It has to be an offset. It has to be an offset. That makes sense, right? Okay. We're getting somewhere, at least. I kind of fixed it. Maybe? Only works up there now. Okay. Did not fix it. it. Made it worse. It might work if I have all the depth coded the same way. I don't know. Oh! 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 Yo! What? We did it! <laughs> we did it! Wait, did we do it? Hold on. Okay, that's working. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Let's go back down here. So I can walk through. I can walk through the rocks. That makes sense. Can walk through the rocks here. Makes sense. Makes... Makes sense. Okay, so the rocks, I can walk through the rocks. So this means the depth is working properly now. Holy banana, what the frick? Desperation, desperation attempt paid off for once in my life. Being desperate worked. Not that I'm very desperate often, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Oh my God, how long was I working on that? Jesus, I don't even want to tell you how long I was working on that. Okay, depth works. What was the what was what did I even do for this? Negative view angle plus 90. That's probably a bad combination, but it's working. 
Okay, so I don't know how to draw uh, text without it being manipulated by the angle. But, you know, we got depth working, so we've got that going for us. Technically, this would be like the angle for Nuclear Throne. It's a little higher. You know, theoretically, let's say there's a bullet back here. You're gonna be like, whoop, there's a bullet. Obviously, this is going to be much smoother in the long run. But regardless, it's a nice start. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh my god. We've got the ammo chest, we've got the rad canister, and we've got the ammo box. Okay, they're all facing the wrong way. I need to change the origins for all of these sprites. I imported them all in the wrong, wrong direction. Who cares? Look at that. They're in 3D. Oh my god. All right. So uh, the rotation might not be working exactly as it should. I just realized. I'm starting to realize my scaling might have been a little off. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> Before I end this, hold on. Here we go. So this is what the... <laughs> The rock was supposed to look like <laughs> it was supposed to look something like this <laughs> you know it's got all these nice little ridges from this from this to this <laughs> not the most pleasant of transitions of translations excuse me <laughs> it's just it does i'm so sad it did not translate well what does this look like with interpolation on? Okay. Admittedly, it looks a little better. <laughs> Damn it all. Damn it all. I think next episode, we're going to continue this. We're going to continue to hammer away at this code and try to make it work properly. I think I already know what's wrong with majority of the weirdness that we're dealing with here today. So we'll definitely come back try to fix this the best we can and then hopefully turn it into some form of a video game but who knows good lord what a roller coaster of emotions for today so anyway thank you so much for watching that'll do it for this episode as always if you enjoy what you saw here today and you want to see it continue go ahead and leave a like if you've yet to subscribe go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the bell so you can be notified when more of this lovely developmental magic goes live. <laughs> and be sure to leave your thoughts on the magnificent, somewhat poopish looking rocks. Or the, the wonderful 3D in the comments below. Or whatever's on your mind. But yeah, I think that's been uh, enough embarrassment for one day. So uh, once again, uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> you know what vibe I get from this? I get, I get like a Sub-Zero Scorpion vibe from this. <laughs> it's like I'm making a Mortal Kombat head. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, honestly. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's